I'm going to give a quick overview of how to adjust your student's schedule based on their pacing guide expectations if you have a student for grades K to 5. So first, you'll want to go to k12.com, click the OLS login button, enter your username and password for a learning coach, From here, you'll click your name in the upper right-hand corner, and then click Schedule Setup. As you see, a new page has populated. If you have multiple children in ARVA, make sure you adjust to the student's name that you are needing. In my case, I'm going to choose my second grader for this example. Next, You'll want to log in to your Learning Coach personal email account. I've already got mine pulled up. So as you can see here, my second grader's teacher is Miss Cook. And what I've done is I just typed in the search box and brought up the email. And your email from your teacher for a student in grade K to 5 will look similar to this. It should start with your student's first initial, second initial, their last name, and then it should say pacing guide and the date. So if you just type your teacher's last name, it should populate for you. So I've clicked this here, and then I'm going to download the pacing guide. So I also wanted to show you an example of what that will entail. So I'm going to open it. However, um, you can also click save. So you have the option of open or save. It would be a good idea to keep your pacing guide handy, maybe on your desktop. So if I wanted to save it, I could click save as, move it to my desktop here, as I just pressed, and then just save it to my desktop. The file name is already there for me. And I'll click save. Now I'm going to open it. And this is my second grader's pacing guide. Yours will look similar to this. So you would scroll down, follow the instructions that are on the page, and you would move here to where it says, how do I use this pacing guide? Follow these instructions step by step. And I'm going to give you a quick overview of that as well. So for quarter one, week one, What you'll want to do is scroll down until you can see the page fully. As you see, there's weekly notes from the teacher. Um, be sure to read those each week. Here are the dates for this first week. Be sure that you make this adjustment before starting the schoolwork. If you've not been able to do that, that's okay. Just be sure to stop before proceeding with the lessons. That way, your courses line up for what is expected for this week. So as we scroll up, I have already adjusted my student schedule. However, I'm still going to use this example. So just a moment, I'll bring up the schedule plan again. And we will move this one over a little bit so we could look at it at the same time. That way we can have this side by side. And make adjustments as needed. So in this case, you'll want to take a peek at the Show Hide Courses. And in this case, if you'll look here, I've already got some hidden. So for my student, all I did was uncheck a few courses. So let me check these again, the PE, the Science, and the Math Appendix. Well, I'm going to look at the pacing guide here. And it's going to show me there are no courses this week in the Math Appendix. There are no courses for PE this week, there are none for science, and there are none for social studies. So I'm going to uncheck those courses on the plan for today. So again, that's Math Appendix, Science, Social Studies, and PE. So let me go over here, and I'll show you what that looks like. So first, we're going to find the Math Appendix, and I'm going to uncheck that. Then I'm going to scroll down and social studies was already unchecked for me. So I'm going to keep that unchecked. 
PE needs to be unchecked. In the other course, we can go back and take a peek to make sure that we're on track with it. Social studies and science was the other one. So I'm going to scroll down here to get the science here. And then I'm going to click save. Now by doing this, what's going to happen when we go to the tab that we need to to adjust based on the pacing guide, those four courses will not populate for us, which is a good thing for this week's pacing guide. Always remember when you go in adjust this weekend for next week, you'll want to add those back on if week two's pacing guide explains to. So on this page, it's this is where we make the adjustments. So I am going to go in and make the adjustments for my student. I am not making any adjustments for stride math because I got an email letting me know that stride math does not need to be adjusted or ELA. So I'm going to leave that alone. However, I will go in here to the guide and look at art. Well, it says my student should do two art this week. And again, I've already adjusted mine based on the pacing guide, but I'm still going to give you a demonstration. So for art, you would find the art course, Summit Art 2. I'm going to look here and go, oh wow, one, two, they are here. Well, let's say they wanted three. I can easily add that third one here and then click save. If the pacing guide had said there needed to be three. However, it only needed to be two. So I'm going to take that one back off and then I'm going to click save. So let's look at the next course, handwriting. It says my students should do three handwriting. Well, because our school year started on a Wednesday, we don't want to add any courses for Monday and Tuesday of this week. Before the stride again, I'm leaving those there. Now, since it said we're going to do the handwriting, I'm going to make sure there are three handwriting. One for Wednesday, one for Thursday, and one for Friday. That way my child gets practice daily. If you didn't see anything here, all you would do is take those numbers out by clicking it and hitting delete or highlighting it and hitting delete. I'm going to add these back in. One there, move my mouse over, click a one there, move my mouse over and click a one there, and click save. And now we have our handwriting put in. So for history this week, there is only one history due for this week. And as you see, I chose to put it on Friday. I tried to balance out the coursework for the week for how many lessons that are there. The reason my, my student has more is because this is their online learning course and I wanted them to get that tackled this week because that is the expectation of the school. Want to complete the online learning course the first week. So for history, it's already entered. So let's look at the pacing guide and see what it says for the next course. Literature and comprehension. Well, we've got three days this week and it also says that we need to do three. So I've added three here and then you would click save. The next subject would be math. Well, there's only two. Well, on a normal week for math or for literature or spelling or writing skills, a student may be doing five unless the pacing guide um, recommends changing those numbers. So on a typical week, this may say five here. One, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. So you'll just be able to add the numbers. Let's say your student really likes math or really likes a certain subject. In the student's grades, you can adjust. Maybe they want to do two that day and then only one this day. That's okay as long as they complete the lesson that you put on their plan so that they stay on track. For me, it was easier to just budget it one per day based on the course for my student. That works best for him. So let's look at another subject. Again, for science, I want to point out, we hid that course. So let me show you that you're not going to see that here. As we scroll through, science is not listed because we did hide it over here. Same thing with social studies 
and the other two courses. So vocabulary, we'll take a peek there. It says three per week, and we can see that I've already adjusted it for three per week. So when you are completely done making these adjustments, you just want to make sure that each week you have adjusted it based on the pacing guide. So for this week, it's the 15th through the 17th. I want to make sure that these numbers are equivalent to what I placed from Wednesday to Friday for my student. And then come Saturday or Sunday, once your student has completed their work, you're going to come back to this section on the pacing guide. You'll move down to quarter one, week two, and you'll make adjustments again. So as you see, handwriting says six, history says three, literature says six, and so on. So if we needed to make that adjustment, it can be done easily, again, by logging into the online school, clicking your learning coach name in the upper right-hand corner, clicking schedule pay set setup, and then coming here to choose the student that you need to adjust. You'll want to make sure that you're on the correct student based on the pacing guide you've received so that they can stay on track and not get behind in their lessons.